but I'm glad cause they feed me the fuel that I need for the fire to burn and it's burning and I just return and I am whatever you say I am if I wasn't then why would I say I am I haven't uploaded for the last two days um, had a 500k ride finished that and also fuckle sleep for three days uh, so I was feeling a bit run down can't really make good content if you're feeling like shit if you're not sharp you can't concentrate so I'm sure you guys understand that um, I've actually got a tour coming up now it's starting on the Friday it's called the Asian bike tour and it starts in Chiang Rai and it looks like we do a loop it's a thousand two hundred k's in seven days about 170 k's a day average and also it's a lot of climbing I see the biggest day is over 25 meters of climbing per kilometer so it's going to be a solid tour the format is you start 30 seconds apart um, I'm not sure at this point if there's drafting allowed or not but uh, honestly I don't know how they're going to monitor that because if everyone's starting 30 seconds apart they're going to catch each other and there's no way you can keep an eye on the riders for five or six hours so I think they will be drafting either way drafting or not um, you still got to be strong if you want to hit it on the climbs um, the prize money is good for this race so if Anzuelism wins at least he won't be broke as a joke anymore so here's the footage from the vlog um, from the ride to May Sai and back two days ago or yesterday enjoy it just past three o'clock in the morning and I'm getting some daddy nitro ready I don't know if you can hear the rain outside but it is pouring quite solidly and <laughs> I was humoring myself with some sarcastic remarks but I'm not complaining, I'm just going to be training.
Kieran and my side, and Kieran actually beat me to my side. Yep. He was waiting for me at the seven eleven. <laughs> I was waiting for him with some soft drink, and he doesn't want it. Show us your sponge boots. Oh yeah. man, it looks half bro. You reckon yours is like that too? Yeah, probably. Got the Gormany on charge with the power bank. Uh, my Shenny got it for free with her phone. So it's a win-win. Right, so here's a trip from Chiang Mai to Maesai and back. Uh, longest ride ever, 500 k's as you can see. Almost 17 hours, nearly 3,000 meters of climbing and almost 503 k's. Unfortunately, I didn't make the 15 hour mark because after five and a half hours I was done and I attribute this to just not doing much endurance training for the last while. So it is what it is. And there were, there were some other factors too. Like, uh, I didn't fuel enough in the beginning of the ride. I could have fueled um, with more calories. Like, I could have had a bigger breakfast for sure. I only had like 200 calories for breakfast. So I should have had a 1,500 calorie breakfast, but I just wasn't hungry at all. And another factor was just having a, a bad night's sleep. I didn't sleep at all. So that makes quite a difference. And here you can see 30 k's an hour average, not a bad speed. 80 k's an hour max, going like Peter Sagan on the downhill. <laughs> no, just joking. Um, training stress score nearly 500, so it's a big guy in the saddle. Uh, 1,025 calories, so lots of energy spent there. And average uh, weighted power or normalized power was 189 watts, as opposed to the average power for the ride being 166. So there were some parts where I gave it a little bit of gas on the climbs, and that makes the difference between the average power and the normalized power. So the normalized power is a more accurate reflection of how hard the ride was overall. So if you look at the analysis, you can see where I just tanked off completely. Just uh, taking some time to load here. Okay, there we go. So there we go in the first five and a half hours about 214 watts for 152 k's, uh, 87 k's, so the k's was good. So, um, yeah, just didn't have it after that. So I just decided to ride easy. Um, and I actually stopped before I was about to bonk completely. It's better to stop before you bonk than stopping when you're just absolutely fucked because then you're really gonna struggle on the way home. And it doesn't matter how much sugar you have, how much water you have, you just can't. You just finished. So always stop before you bonk and learn to know your body. Feel when a bonk is coming on. Because man, it's, it's not pretty <laughs> once you bonk like that. <laughs> 